What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, undefeated three-division world champion, who is currently the WBA 135 and 140 pound world champion. He was simultaneously the WBA three-division belt holder, but he vacated his 130 pound belt. That being superstar boxer Javante Tank Davis, 25 wins, no loss, no draws, 24 big wins by way of knockout. He's 26 years of age, stands at 5'5", five five, uh, with a 67-inch arm reach, okay? With that said, Javante Tank Davis, he announced that he will be back in the ring, as we know, uh, in December. We know this because uh, Showtime exec, CEO, Steven Espinosa, he let the world know that Javante Tank Davis will be back in the ring December on pay-per-view. Now, it's looking like his opponent is going to be None other than undefeated, lightweight, star boxer, that being Roly Rolando Romero, okay, in December. We know Floyd Mayweather, who Mayweather Promotions promotes Javante Tank Davis. He stated that after his fight with Mario Barrios, Javante Tank Davis' next fight was more than likely going to be an in-house fight. And that leads us to believe that uh, the, WBO, the WBA ordered Javante Tank Davis to start to negotiate and get a deal done with uh, Rolando Roly Romero, as they named him as the mandatory challenger, essentially, okay? Uh, and we know that Javante Tank Davis has been called out by Roly for quite some time, okay? Roly has been seeking out this fight for quite some time now, okay? He truly, truly believes that he can beat, you know, Javante Tank Davis, okay? Uh, Roly Romero is 14 wins, no losses, no draws, 12 wins by way of knockout, He's uh, 25 years of age, stands at 5'8", with a 68-inch arm reach. So uh, he's going to have a 1-inch arm reach advantage over Javante Tank Davis, and he has a 3-inch height advantage over Javante Tank Davis. Uh, and he's a big puncher, power in both hands. So Javante Tank Davis is seen uh, training, and he says that uh, he's preparing to do damage in December, okay? Uh, and that opponent seems to be, like I stated, Roly Rolando Romero, who has been seeking out a fight with Javante Tank Davis for quite some time. And it's an easy fight to make. It makes sense. I don't know if it's a pay-per-view fight, but the build-up and all the talk from both sides will will essentially build a fight. But Roly Romero is not a pay-per-view fighter. But at the same token, you got to look at it and say Mario Barrios, former undefeated uh, junior welterweight WBA regular champion. Mario Barrios, Mexican star boxer. He wasn't a pay-per-view attraction, but they put him on pay-per-view now. Four division world champion Mexican superstar boxer Leo Santa Cruz. He was a pay per view attraction because Leo Santa Cruz is a future Hall of Fame famer, surefire future Hall of Famer, four division world champion, very accomplished in the sport of boxing. So it uh, it's understandable when you put Mario Barrios. Mario Barrios has not had a big fight in his career. Mario Barrios wasn't a uh, you know a super world champion. He's a regular champion. So you know uh, Mario Barrios is not a superstar. But they put him on pay-per-view. So, uh, Roly Rolando Romero, dare you say, is maybe a little bit more well-known than Mario Barrios. But Mario Barrios is a Mexican star. He has a mes Mexican family that's going to stay behind him. That's not the case for Rolando Roly Romero. But nonetheless, you know, um, he's going to talk up and build up the fight. As he labels himself, you know, a mouthpiece, an entertainer for the sport of boxing. Uh, and he's never showing him words, and he's entertaining when he gets in the ring. He looks for a knockout. Every every single time he steps in the ropes, he looks for a knockout. So uh, it's not surprising, you know, to see Mario Barrios, I mean, excuse me, see uh, Roly Rolando Romero as a op uh, possibility uh, as an opponent for Javante Tank Davis, and he builds up the fight, right? 
Uh, he's going to bring excitement. I believe he's going to get knocked out. I believe that this is going to be a statement fight for Javante Tank Davis. Okay, I think that Javante Tank Davis is going to put on a massive performance. I believe that this is going to be a showcase type of fight. Now, Javante Tank Davis is knocked down and knocked out pretty much every opponent he's ever faced. Uh, so he's always in highlight real knockout fights. Okay, uh, so a fight with him and uh, Mary, uh, Rolo, Roly Romero. So you know, uh, Roly Romero is going to bring it. It's going to bring the action. Uh, but still, like I said, in the same token, I believe that, you know, uh, he's tailor-made. His style is tailor-made for uh, Javante Tank Davis. I believe that Roly Romero, uh, he makes far too many mistakes, you know. Uh, and I believe that ultimately that's going to cost him in this situation with uh, Javante Tank Davis, okay. I believe that, you know, um, he leaves himself wide open. Javante Tank Davis is highly skilled, very technical. Uh, everybody overlooks that when you're looking at Javante Tank Davis because the first thing you look at is Javante Tank Davis is power, okay? The first thing you think about is Javante Tank Davis is power. Everybody says, you know, uh, look at his power. You know, he gets knockouts. You get enamored with his power, rightfully so. But Javante Tank Davis has one of the highest ring IQs in the sport of boxing. Javante Tank Davis is very technically sound. Javante Tank Davis, he sets up his punches, okay? He sets up those knockouts. You know, he's not just a, a walk-forward brute, okay? He can be uh, very slick if he so chooses. He has very, very fast hands, okay? He is the total package. He has a very, very sturdy chin, okay? So Javante Tank Davis, he puts it all together very, very well. He's the complete package in the sport of boxing, okay? The only thing he lacks is height, okay? <laughs> Plain and simple. And at one point in time, he lacked dedication. But as you can see... Uh, Javante Tank Davis is still very much so in shape from his last fight with uh, Mario Barrios, okay? And so, you know, uh, the knock on Javante Tank Davis was in between fights. He let himself balloon up. You know, uh, he likes to uh, celebrate his victories. Uh, he likes to hang out and enjoy his life, as he should, because he's a young guy. Um, but, you know, when you're dealing with the sport of boxing, you have to stay disciplined throughout, okay, to, for have, to have, you know, longevity in the sport of boxing. So, um, Javante Tank Davis, his fight in June against Mario Barrios. We are in September going into October, and Javante Tank Davis is still very much so in shape, and that hasn't had an annou official announcement, okay? So that speaks volumes, okay? He is completely in shape, and he lacks nothing but height, okay? He is the complete total package, okay? And uh, I believe that uh, Roly Rolando Romero, who lacks skills, who lacks discipline on defense, who opens up far too wide, okay, is not very technical. Now, he's unorthodox. He's uh, very awkward. So that could be an issue for, you know, um, Javante Tank Davis in the beginning, getting used to the timing, getting used to the style of, uh, you know, Roley Romero, Romero. But I believe at some point in time, early in the fight, I don't see this fight going past five rounds because of the style of, of Roley Romero. Because he leaves himself wide open, he throws wild looping punches, he's going to give Javante Tank Davis nothing but opportunities to hit home runs all night long, okay? And I believe that this could be the end to Roly Romero's career because I believe he's going to brutally get knocked out by Javante Tank Davis, okay? Uh, again, he, one of the biggest flaws that Roly Romero could have going into this fight with Javante Tank Davis is lack of fear. Okay, because he's going to come forward. He's not going to hesitate. He's very, very confident. Uh, and that could ultimately play against him because he's going to open himself up far too wide. He's going to go for it. He's going to throw caution in the wind. He feels like all he has to do is land one big punch on Javante Tank Davis. And that ultimately, that would knock out Javante Tank Davis. And it very well could. But Javante Tank Davis has shown to have a very, very, very sturdy chin. Javante Tank Davis has shown to... You know, uh, be very, very durable. Okay, Javante Tank Davis has shown to be very, very slick when he wants to be. Okay, uh, you people get it misconstrued when they see Javante Tank Davis uh, taking punches or getting boxed by guys like Leo Santa Cruz, Mario Barrios. That's all in game plan. That's all for Javante Tank Davis to set up the fight. Okay, to set up what he's looking to land. Okay, uh, that's not by accident. If he don't want you to hit him. And you're not uh, a high-caliber fighter to be able to 
uh, impose yourself, your will, and your skill set on Javante Tang Davis to land punches, well, you won't hit Javante Tang Davis, okay? Because he's very, very slick, okay? He's very, he is the complete package in the sport of boxing. A lot of people, they complain when I said Javante Tang Davis is more skilled and more technical and a better peel boxer than Manny Pacquiao. They have a lot of similarities. They're both 5'5 five five with a 67-inch arm reach, and they both have uh, very, very, very um, special left hands, okay? But that's where the comparisons end because Manny Pacquiao has quicker feet and quicker hands than Javante Tank Davis, but he's left-hand dominant. Javante Tank Davis has quick, very quick feet, very fast hands, but Javante Tank Davis is more technically sound, okay? He's more skilled boxer. So, I believe Javante Tank Davis can have every bit of the career of a Manny Pacquiao. I'm not saying he's going to go through eight divisions in his career. But I'm saying he can be dominant in the sport of boxing for sure. And definitely be a pay-per-view superstar. So, it uh, looks like December is going to be the date for Rolando Roly Romero and Javante Tank Davis. Javante Tank Davis said he's preparing for destruction in December. Can't wait. That's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share the videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace. Bob Garner, you're watching Blue Bud Sports TV. Wow.